Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me once again. Alright, so... Let us, uh, finish what we're doing out here. Make sure that we get the stockpile done and woodcutter and all that. So, I'm gonna add some, uh, priority to it. Oh, that's not quite what I want to do. There we go. And we'll take a couple of these vendors off and put them as builders for right now. Actually, we could definitely probably take a couple of these, uh, foresters off. But, I don't know, I still want to try to get as, uh, a large of a log supply as we possibly can there. So let's speed this up some. And see what we got going on over here. So this hunting cabin should be done anytime soon here. Oh, I should probably put a, uh, a storage barn over here. This is five wide, so it's going to be a little bit bigger, but whatever. We'll probably need it here so they can put all the venison in there and instead of walking all the way up there. But you know what, actually, I think I'd rather them walk and put it over here. Even though that thing looks like it's going to overflow any second now. Probably need to put just some more vendors to start moving those goods. And then this should be complete any time now. Oh, it looks like our other woodcutter is already complete though. Yep. That one's done. So we'll put a couple more of those on duty. And we'll put another vendor on in there as well. Well, that should do us pretty good there. And looks like this guy is expanding that forest up here pretty nicely. He actually might... I might just want to put him on uh, planting for right now. Yeah, we'll just do that for right now and see how how much of a forest we can build up there. And what is our um, fuel limit at? We're changing that to 500. And. Let's put our trading post down here. I kind of want it in line with these houses. But we also need to make sure that it... Actually, yeah, we got a little bit of a give there. Oh, those facing that way? Oh, that's good. I'm glad I did that. Should actually probably do it to this one too. There we go. Okay. Whoops. Yeah, cool. Right here? Wait, yeah, one over. See how far in the water we can put it. Right about there. Alright, that looks good. Wow, that thing got built pretty darn fast. At least uh, supplied. Must have been some of our merchants over here. Well, We'll take all but two off and throw the as many as those as we can on there. And we're almost done with um, planting, so we have some extras there too.
Ah, that's gonna be built pretty fast for us. And then we can put some extra hunters on duty as well. So that should be a pretty good supply for us. Now we just... Yeah, this forest is going along pretty nicely. See if he's taking up any of these stones or anything. Yeah, it looks like he's getting a little bit of that. Clearing out a little bit of area. And we're done. Perfect. Yeah, let's just slow this down for a sec and see if there's... Oh, we might want to do... Alright, I think they're four apiece for the firewood, so we need about 2,000... 500. Uh, let me try to do this math again here, real quick. Uh, six. 25. Uh, sure, that sounds good. So, man, that's a lot. 625. Holy cow, I didn't realize. Hmm. Well, let's load it up with at least a couple hundred here. We'll go with, nah, we'll just do three for right now. And take all these guys off. We'll do three of those, and we'll put the rest on to being a vendor. See if that helps out any. And I, I realized I didn't um, put down any orchards. So maybe I should try to do that as well. I haven't seen it myself, but I have heard that, or read, that uh, your foresters will cut down your orchards if they're fully grown. They just consider them trees. So I'm trying to make sure if I do build some orchards and I make it far enough away that uh, they're not going to cut them down. And it looks like we're coming up into spring again here. And that's fully stocked. Our fire reserves are low. Go figure. Mentioned that we put like 300 away. But at least we have enough um, logs here to kind of make up for it. We'll turn this guy back on to cutting because I'm sure we're going to go through quite a bit here soon. Yes, thank you. You... Actually, you, you just told me that. Okay, so there's that forest lodge. And there's that one. Yeah, so this would be perfect if we build them over here. Or somewhere over here. That should do fine. How far up is that? It's only like five up, I think. Let's see if we can just mark it with a road here. It's right there, so we'll go one lower. Let's see if we can go out to about an 11.
I can't see this road. Ah. Okay, so not not bad. Actually, I'd rather match the houses with it, so whatever. Speaking of those houses, do we need any more? That one's almost empty. These guys, why, why are our stone houses almost empty, but the wooden ones are completely full? What's up with that? Oh no, our tools. No! I'll we'll put one on the tailor and one on the tools. Oh, I didn't even see that. Holy cow. Yeah, we got one and zero. Yeah, we should probably make some more. Just saying. Forgot to do that this last winter here. Well, it's, yeah, we're still going a good, good, decent speed there. And how are these guys doing? Decent. Not bad. And let's see here. Oh, 14 leather from last time. That's pretty good. Wonder how much leather we actually had in uh, in stock there. 34? That should be good enough to make uh, some new winter clothing out of it. just one off oh that's done oh we have 500 in stock now okay so we'll need to uh, we'll put a couple more traders up and then we'll pack this full again here put 500 in for now And now we're just waiting for a ship. Praying that a ship comes. Oh, somebody died of old age. Who did I lose? A gatherer? No! We need that gatherer. We'll take one off of there. Put it back on gathering. Yeah, this area is going to be pretty nice, too. We'll be able to put um, put a couple of, uh, maybe another gathering lodge and another hunting cabin. Let's see. All right, do you already have 500 in here? Holy cow. They do work fast. Yeah, at least we just have our area set up for where we want to put our trees. Actually, you know what? I'll we'll go ahead and just build it and clear it out during the winter here. Oh no, there's like a spot right there. Well, I should have checked that first, I guess. Yeah, there's like a little spot right there that's messing us up. So how big was this one? Uh, 10 by 7? Kind of an odd number. Yeah, 
And this one's going to be where those homes are. So this can be a 10 by 8, and that'll fit just fine. Yeah, that's right. No? It's a little shorter than that one on this one. It's a 9. Okay, so we'll go 8 by 9. Okay. And then we just won't actually put anything on them right now. Looks like we can fill this up all the way too. We'll go ahead and just put like 700 in. That way um, we'll have a little bit of reserves, a little, some leftovers there. And then we'll change, uh, oh wait, what, what, what am I doing? Yeah? We'll put four of those guys back on that and then the rest here. I thought they were done. Sorry. Sorry, guys. We're almost done. Don't worry. Your work's almost going to be over. Yeah, autumn right now. And looks like our blacksmith and our tailor are very busy. I wonder what else. We need some extra iron. We could definitely use some more of that. So let's see if we can collect some from down here. Since we already got our road built and everything else. I should do. See if there's any down there. Yep, there's some right there. I'm right. Oh my god! All right, let's pause this real quick. All right, what do you got? Sheep? Heck yeah! I'll take your sheep. I want lots of sheep. We only need really two, but heck, I'll take four. That'll help. try 600 yep that works out perfectly done thank you great oh, wait yeah they'll stay in that pen Whew. I was like I don't have a spot for them all right but that'll be fine because they're gonna stay hang out right here in this little pen it'll be perfect so now we need to build a spot for our sheep I think right here is looking pretty good I will crank that down a little, just a little bit. And we can't go that far, so we'll go one left. How far can we build out here? Pasture is too large. Oh, it has to be just like one smaller. Then both of those combined. Oh yeah, I can't go over 20. So we can do a 13 by a 20. Or we can make two of them. We might just want to make two of them. So what's that ratio? It's by nine. So we'll go nine by 13, or, oh, nope, that's not right. Yeah, nine by 13, why are you messing up? Hold on here. Yeah, it should be nine, okay. Okay, there's that one, and then, yeah, this one's at uh, 10, no, 11, 
11. So 11 by 13, 2. There we go. Actually, we'll probably turn off those traders so they stop stealing all of our firewood. There's that. That storage barn will be fine. I want to build another one a little closer here. And we can do one like right here. Because that, yeah, that marker will still reach. So that should be fine. Well, we're getting to late winter. So. Pop a couple of those guys on. There we go. So we got some, um, we're going to have some orchards here set up. That way we can make a brewery. And then, um, then we're going to have a couple of pastures with some sheep. So then we'll be able to make uh, some of the best winter clothing. Because right here you can change the winter clothing from the um, hide to wool coat or the warm coat which is uh, leather plus wool. So we can start building some of those. And then after that, um, um, I'm going to make a mine, I believe. And the mine here, where are you? You bloody mine. There you are. Thank you. Yeah, so we'll make a mine somewhere on this hill. I'll figure out where exactly I want to put it. Oh, no? Right there is not perfect? Okay. Yeah, someplace. Oh, that looks good. So we'll probably build a mine right there. We can't build houses too close to it. I don't know exactly the proximity. Um, that houses should not be next to it because it, it causes unhappiness. But... I'll figure out the best placement for it, and we'll see from there. So uh, thank you guys for joining me for this episode, and I hope to see you next time. Till then, goodbye.